Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video on Veeam, I'm here to show you and deploy Veeam Cloud Connect within the Azure portal. So let's get started. From your create a resource, you can do a quick search for Veeam Cloud Connect, or you can just type in VCC, and you'll get that uh, Veeam Cloud Connect for service provider. You can pick this. And you get a brief summary of, uh, of what it, it is. So you can just go and click on create. And then you get the wizard to create the virtual machine. So if you have done this before, it should be pretty straightforward. So let's do by first creating a resource group, which we always do. I'll name it RG1, click on OK, give the name for your server, pick the region you want to deploy in, the image we are using the pre-built image which is Veeam Cloud Connect for service provider and then you specify what size of machine you want to deploy. So let's look at some of the options available. For this deployment, I will use A4 version 2. And let's provide the credential for administrating this server. You can pick the machine or the disk that you want to specify just to show you that uh, only specific kind of virtual machine or specific use of virtual machine will work with the premium so for this demonstration I'll just use the standard HDD and go to the next tab which is networking and in this I will create a new virtual network I'll name it VNet1. And I'll also create a subnet. Click on OK and I'll also make this public IP as static. So the validation has passed and click on the create button. So if you can expand the bell icon, you will see that the deployment uh, is initiated. And if you want to further drill down what is happening behind the scene, uh, you can go to more activity and uh, more events in the activity log and follow the steps in this, right? So uh, just to, uh, summarize once more time we are using the pre-built image which is there within the marketplace and we are trying to deploy this Veeam Cloud Connect server. So while this is getting deployed let me just take a moment to give you an idea about uh, how Veeam Cloud Connect work and what we are trying to or what component we are trying to deploy on this. So let me go to my whiteboard So imagine this is the cloud. Let's say this is Azure. 
and in this we are deploying this uh, Veeam Cloud Connect server right let's name it VCC and uh, that's what we're trying to attach and there is some storage attached to this right so what Veeam Cloud Connect will allow you to do is uh, first of all uh, the one thing that we want to do is to have uh, multiple tenants, right? So these are your customers, maybe. So you say this is tenant 1, tenant 2, and this is tenant 3. With Veeam Cloud Connect, you will uh, you can do 3 to 1 or achieve 3 to 1 in the, in the backup uh, 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 terminology, if I have to. So what 3 to 1 means is you want to create uh, 3 copies of data, on two different media with one copy off site and this copy will be over here so in case something happens to uh, uh, anything at the tenant data center right because this is a, a tenant environment uh, you can restore that from uh, from Veeam Cloud Connect server that is the whole idea and another important thing about this is that when we talk about Veeam Cloud Connect you don't need to worry about uh, creating the VPN tunnels right because that's uh, if you have been uh, managing backup and restore infrastructure and if you're managing multiple sites you know that uh, VPN is not uh, uh, is not uh, that stable sometimes and it is it's always a challenge to manage these VPN tunnels so with this v Veeam Cloud Connect the good thing is that you don't need to worry about the uh, VPN connectivity it will create a connection with your tenants through certificate so it will use TSL certificate uh, certificate now you can generate your own certificate or if you have a certificate from the certificate authority you can share that with those tenants and uh, that is how the connection is established so no VPN needed and another component that will be needed on the tenant side will be the uh, obviously Veeam server so what generally in the production environment or production environment what happens is that customer they will create a copy on-prem right so generally they want the copy on-prem for fast restore because uh, in case you're trying to restore from this Veeam Cloud Connect maybe it will take some time so generally you'll create a copy on-prem and then you'll create this uh, offline copy uh, in the uh, in the service provider location so from the service provider point of view I think that's a great functionality right so if you're a service provider you can use uh, uh, backup as a service you can also configure disaster recovery as a service through through these Veeam Cloud Connect. And there might be some other component uh, that might be of interest to you. One thing is the WAN accelerator. So when you're talking about moving the data from one location to another, sometime you know you need to have the right kind of bandwidth. And uh, there are a lot of uh, WAN accelerators or third-party tools which are available in the market. But Veeam has built in. I think that's another great functionality which you can just switch it on. And depending on how big is the environment, you can have uh, multiple WAN ac accelerators. So you can have at the target location and you can also enable uh, WAN accelerator at the source location. So uh, I think that's uh, that will make sure that you have the right bandwidth. You make sure uh, it will allow you to send the data in more effective ways. So you can deploy these WAN accelerator both at the source and the target location, and you can you can configure that right. And uh, the data is stored at this uh, Veeam Cloud Connect location, right? In this case, we are deploying that within the Azure environment. So for this deployment and for this session, we are only configuring this part, right? We are not conf configuring the Veeam backend replication server will will add uh, multiple tenants, but uh, we are not uh, uh, configuring this Veeam backend replication server on the on the tenant side. So this is the agenda. This is what we. But this at least gives you an overview of uh, how Veeam Cloud Connect uh, works. So with that, uh, let me go back to my portal. So you'll see that uh, the deployment is complete. So if I go to my virtual machine, I should see the server with the name VCC. So 
let me go and expand the server and uh, try to connect to it by using the RDP file let me go and connect to it download RDP file and let me use the credentials which I specified while I was creating the server So now because this was a pre-built image from the marketplace, uh, Veeam Backup and Replication Server is already installed on this. I will just upload the license, uh, license key which is required to enable the Cloud Connect. So let me just close this window. And uh, I already have a license key which I'll put over here. And uh, let me just open my uh, Veeam uh, console. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to upload the license. So I'll expand these uh, three lines over here. And uh, if I go into the license, I can go and uh, install license because right now it is the community edition. And browse to the file that I have and uh, try to upload. I need an Enterprise Plus Edition for Veeam Cloud Connect. As you can see that once I have uploaded this file, the Veeam Cloud Connect option is available. So let me just go and uh, expand this console so that you can see it better. Uh, so if I go, the first thing that I want to show you is if I go into the backup repository, by default, when you deploy the server, it takes the one which is the C drive. But obviously, if you have more than one drive, you can attach more uh, and you can add more backup repository, but I will leave that to the default. If you want, you can also enable the WAN accelerator, the one that I said. You can have a dedicated WAN accelerator, you can have multiple WAN accelerator, or you can install this role on the same machine which is there, which in my case is VCC, right? So it choose the server VCC. So let's create this as a as a as a WAN accelerator too. You can, uh, it uses the traffic port 6165. You can specify how many streams you want, but we'll take all these for the default. And uh, for the caching size, you need to do a bit of planning, right? I will just reduce this to 20 gig for this time. And it's taking from the C drive. Go to next, apply, and it is starting the van accelerator 
uh, service on this machine and hopefully it should not take that long as I said that same thing you need to configure at the source location too it's installing the package it's restarting the van accelerator services Go to next and the role was uh, installed successfully so this is acting as a van accelerator now so let me go to now the cloud connect and uh, you have this option of adding the tenants right so the tenants are as i said that from the service provider point of view these are the one uh, multiple tenants because it offers you multi-tenancy uh, and that is how you'll be using it as a uh, backup as a service of providing this as a backup as a service for your multiple tenants so let me go and click on add right and uh, let me give this name say okay let's give it a name tenant2 you need to specify a password for this tenant what resources you want to assign from the backup storage we're just talking about the backup not for the replication in this case for replication you need to have a hyper or vmware in the environment which in this case we are not talking about so let me check this box and go to next and uh, I can specify how many maximum concurrent tasks I want to have. And uh, I can limit the network traffic. So I will leave those things to default right now. If I have a gateway pool, so again, if I'm talking about uh, a big uh, environment, I can have multiple cloud gateways and I can pool them. So depending upon which is free, you can route the traffic ac accordingly. But right now, again, I'll leave that to the default. Now for backup resources for this tenant, I'll go and click on add. And I'll give this the name for this tenant uh, repository. I'll name it Cloud Repository 2. And if I expand my backup repository, this is the default backup repository. And I have 106 gig free out of 126. And for this, let me assign a quota of, say, 20 gig. And if I want, I can enable the WAN acceleration through the falling WAN accelerator. I'll pick the VCC, which we have created. Click on OK. So it's calculating repository free space and uh, the 20 gig quota was added and I can specify keep deleted backup file for how many days but again I will leave that to the default go to next and click on finish so if I go now to the tenants you'll see my tenant 2 was added successfully and again I can add multiple tenants over here and I can specify multiple uh, and assign the storage I can assign the quota to them in which the backup copy job will be created right so with this uh, we have successfully deployed the Veeam Cloud Connect I gave you an overview of how Veeam Cloud Connect work how we can use multi-tenancy or we can use it as a backup as a service and uh, we have configured the WANX greater and we have added the tenant successfully I hope you found this video on Veeam Backup Replication useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.